Welcome to the section on exponential growth and decay, 2.8. A lot of this will seem like pre-cal to you, and that's because it is. The proof of the formula we're going to use, I put at the end, that requires calculus. So the guiding principle here is that if a, a quantity A changes at a rate proportional to the amount there at time t, the way we see that mathematically is the a dt is ka, then the solution is a of t is a naught e to the kt, where a naught is the initial amount. It's a of zero. Now in the videos and in your book, you will see different formulas. p of t is p naught e to the kt, y is y naught e to the rt, f is f of zero e to the kt. I see no reason in changing all the letters on you. It's one formula for all of these problems. One formula, and just so, I, I would just stick to these letters. A is A naught E to the KT. Okay, so the first example, as you can see, I've done out for you, and we're gonna do this type of calculation so often that it's really important you know how to do it. Um, the, we're told uh, the amount of kryptonite at time T is, is given by this formula that we talked about above. Use the fact that kryptonite has a half-life of 3,200 years to solve for K. Now there's a formula for half-life in your book and I don't want you to use it. I want you to do everything by hand like I'm gonna do here. Half-life is the time it takes for half of A naught to go away. And so what we're doing is we're solving this equation. One half of A naught is A of T and that's equal to A naught E to the 3,200 years times K. You solve that for k. So cancel the a naughts. You need them there originally, but you can cancel them then. Um, <clears throat> and then take natural log of both sides of what's left, and you'll get this. And the reason you get this is because if I take natural log of a half, I get natural log of a half. And if I take natural log of e to the 3200k, that's just 3200k, because e and natural log cancel. So you don't have to show this step, you can jump right to the step I have here. Finally, to solve for k, divide both sides by 3200. Now, I suggest you leave things in exact form until you absolutely have to get a decimal to put it into your homework. And I also just suggest you use Desmos, because let me just show you what that looks like. It's a pretty simple calculator. You put things in here and then you get your answer. And what I really like about it is that if you want to change things up, like say one problem has, um, has this, and then in the next problem, that 0.5 changes to a 0.9, you can just do that with your keyboard and get the new answer. Whereas if you're using a graphing calculator, you have to type everything in again. So I love Desmos. Just a note on your next test, you won't have a calculator, so all your answers will be in exact form. They won't be decimals, they'll be things like natural log of a half over 3200. Okay, so let's do some more examples. In 700 days, a sample of radioactive element goo decays by 40%. What's the half-life? So many of these problems are multi-part, and this is one of them. We cannot find the half-life right away. First, we need K. And we're given that 40% decayed in 700 days, that means 60% is left. So to find K, we have to solve this equation. 0.6 A naught, that's how much is left, is A naught E to the 700 K, 700 days. So that's your starting point, and I'm gonna to wanna to see that. Cancel the A naughts. Take ln of both sides. ln of 0.6 is 700k. Because ln of E to the 700k is 700k. Finally, divide both sides by 700. K is ln of 0.6 over 700. Now, I strongly suggest you leave it like that before you find the half-life, then you won't get rounding error. So for the half-life, the half-life is always solved by using this equation up here, um, 
well, this one has a 3200 in it, but here's how we're going to solve the half-life. One half a naught equals a naught e to the kt. Now we know k, it's ln of 0.6 over 700. t is what we're finding. So we're going to solve that equation for t. Cancel the a naughts. Take ln of both sides. ln of 0.5, I'm going to write 1 half as 0.5 just to um, cut down on the amount of uh, fractions I have, is when I take ln of e to the all this stuff, I just get all this stuff. ln of 0.6 over 700 t. Finally, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. So the 700 comes upstairs. So t is, this implies t equals 700 ln of 0.5 divided by ln of 0.6. Now on a test, I'm perfectly happy with that answer. My open math is going to want you to, um, they'll tell you how many decimals they want. But let's see, I had a 0.5 here. 0.5. That's 949.8 days. So if we're rounding to the nearest day, that would be 950 days. Okay, how long until a 100 gram sample decays to a 90 gram sample? All right, so we have our formula, A of T, is a naught e we know what k is k is ln of 0.6 over 700 times t so there's our formula and so we're wanting to solve the equation uh, a naught is 100 and we're setting a equal to 90 so 90 equals 100 e to the ln of 0.6 over 700 times t. Okay, divide. <clears throat> you can't take ln of both sides at this point, so that's very important. If you take ln of both sides, the right is not going to cancel because that 100 is there. So clear out the 100 first. Divide both sides by 100 to get on this side um, 9 over 10, which is 0.9 is e to the ln of 0.6 over 700 times t. Now take natural log of both sides. ln of 0.9 is ln of 0.6 over 700 times t. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction you see on the right. So t is 700 times ln of 0.9 divided by ln of 0.6. Again, for me, that's a good answer, but you're going to have to um, round maybe to the nearest day. And I did that on Desmos already, and I got about 144 days. OK, another example, doctor injects you with 11 milligrams of, not or, a radioactive dye the moment you walk into the office. Not a very nice doctor. After 24 minutes, only six grams remain. You can't leave the office till there are only two grams left in your system. How long do you have to wait to leave? All right, so here's our, here's our guiding equation. I have that written down. A of T is A naught E to the KT. After 24 minutes, six milligrams remain. So our A naught here, the, the initial amount is 11 milligrams. And we're told that A of 24 minutes is six. And eventually what we want is 
when is a of t down to two milligrams, because that's when you can leave. So we need many things here. First of all, we need k. So we're going to find k. And the way we're going to find k is by using a of 24 is 6. So 6 milligrams is a naught, which is 11, e to the 24 k, because t is 24. All right, so divide both sides by 11. You can't take natural log at this point. 6 over 11 is e to the 24 k. Now take log of both sides. Ln of 6 over 11 is 24k. So k is um, ln of 6 over 11 all divided by 24. Or you could write that as 1 over 24 ln of 6 over 11. Same thing. Okay, so now our formula is a little better. Now we can make this formula a little less um, vague. So now we have a of t, we know a naught was 11, a of t equals 11e to the k, which is 1 over 24 ln of 6 over 11, all times t. You need parentheses there so it's clear you're not taking the natural log of t, which you're not. I'll make that bigger so you can see it. Okay, so now we're ready to solve the problem. Um, we want to know when is a of t 2. So we set 2 equal to a, and here we have 11e to the 1 over 24 ln of 6 over 11t. Divide both sides by 11. 2 over 11 is e to the 1 over 24 ln of 6 over 11 t. Okay, now take natural log of both sides. ln of 2 over 11 is 1 over 24 ln of 6 over 11 all times t. And finally, we solve for t. Go up over here. T equals, so we're going to put the 24 on top, multiply both sides by 24, and then ln of 2 over 11 is going to sit upstairs, and then we'll divide by ln of 6 over 11. Okay, and that those 11s don't cancel, so don't do that. Um, that's as I mean, we could make it, we could use properties of logarithms to write those as differences, but it just make things look worse. So at this point, um, at this point we're done, except for the fact that my open math is going to want uh, time to, if we go to the nearest minute, I did this and I got 68 minutes. You should make sure that whatever technology you're using, when you plug this in, you're getting around 68 minutes, because if not, you're not using enough parentheses um, or you're making some sort of entry mistake. It's super easy on Desmos because it's hard to make a mistake because it tells you exactly what you're doing. Okay, let's move on to money. <clears throat> and again, your book changes up the letters, but I'm going to keep it all A is A naught E to the... Um, now, R is interest rate. But I'll just keep calling it T, but, but R is the interest rate. So 3% um, compounded continuously is K equal 0 0.03, because everything has to be a uh, decimal, not a percent. So uh, you deposit A naught dollars in an account at 3% compounded continuously. So that means this is the equation governing how much money is left. How long until your money triples? Now there's a formula in your book for doubling time and they, it's kind of gimmicky. They want you to memorize it and I think that's silly because um, I want to see that you know how to get that. And so instead of doubling time, I'm going to ask you tripling time, quadrupling time, halfling time, things like that. 
So for doubling, triple, tripling time, we want to set a equal to 3a0 because we want to triple our money. 3a0 is a0 e to the 0 0.03t because the interest rate is 0 0.03. Now, um, before you can take log of both sides, you need to get rid of that a0, but fortunately it's on both sides, so you cancel it out. And then ln of 3 is e to the, sorry, when we take ln of e to the 0 0.03, we get 0 0.03t. And so divide by both sides by 0 0.03, and we get t is ln 3 divided by 0 0.03. And I've already done that out on Desmos, and I did it to one decimal, and I got 36.6 years. So that's a long time to triple your money. Um, what I want to point out to you, though, is for tripling or doubling, the answer is independent of how much you started with. The A naughts canceled in the beginning. So if you start with five dollars then in 36 years you'll have 15 dollars okay which is sad but if you start with a million dollars in 36 years you'll have three million so it's better the more you can invest initially is better for you those are fun facts i think okay uh, another one and this is the last one before, I think, um, did I give you any practice problems? Here's the proof of the exponential formula. No, I didn't. Okay, so your, your practice is just going to be doing your homework. Um, and I have a note over here saying videos use A is P, E to the R, T. Again, I'm just telling you that your videos are going to change the letters up, and they're also going to solve for P. I think they make things unnecessarily difficult. I'm just going to stick with my A is a naught e to the kt, where k is r, and go from there. Sometimes I will switch k to r if it's money, just to remind myself that it's interest rate. Your daughter has just been born. When she's 15, you want to buy her a horse that will cost $2,200. How much money should you invest now, not not, at 3% so that you can buy the horse in 15 years? Okay, so what we're looking for here is A naught. The initial amount that we're going to invest. And so what are we given? We're given that A of 15 is 2,200 because that's how much we want in 15 years. And we're given K or R is 0 0.03. All right, so let's plug in what we know. We want A to be $2,200. We don't know A naught. And we have E to the 0 0.03. And we want T to be 15 years. So 2,200 is A naught E to the 0.45. I didn't really need a calculator for that because 15 times 3 is uh, 45, and then you move the decimal point two places. And so finally, we solve for a naught. A naught is 2200. I keep writing 2000. 2200. 2200 zero, zero, divided by e to the 0. 0.45. And I did that out on Desmos, and I got, if we round to one, if we round up and we go to the nearest dollar, that would be $1,403. That's a lot of money to invest right now so that you'll have $2,200 in 15 years. When I initially did this problem, I had this at 6%, 6%, 
And if you do it with 6%, then everything's the same except 0 0.06 times 15 is 0 0.9, and you get A naught is 2200 over E to the 0 0.9, which is a little more reasonable. That turns out to be $894. I think the moral here is that you need to find a money market account which is going to get you a little higher interest rate than 3% or 6% or hopefully your daughter won't want a horse ever because they're so expensive or maybe she'll want one in 30 years and then you can invest a little bit less now or tell her to get a job and buy her own horse. Okay, so that's the end of this section.